So tonight I'm going to make a cheesecake, really quick and easy one, um, doesn't go in the oven which is a bonus, it's just refrigerated. Um, I'm going to make it from scratch, just using the ingredients you see in front of you, so I've got butter. I've got 100 grams in here and I'm going to melt it, it's not necessarily all going to be used but I'm going to just have it ready to go. Um, I've got two perhaps of the Philadelphia cream cheese, the original block, uh, and I've got a can of condensed milk. Um, this is vanilla bean. You can use um, vanilla extract or essence or whatever. Got a lemon already cut. In here is a bag of Murray biscuits. Um, I'm using a bigger tray than I would normally use tonight. It's a pop out base one, which is great, but I just wanted to make a bigger one so I've even got a bit leftovers. We'll probably use half of this tonight, kids and I, uh, tomorrow night for di uh, dessert, and then have some leftover, which will be good. Um, but because I'm using a bigger one, I don't know if I'm going to use one or two packets as yet, but I'll play it by ear. And just to change it up for something a little bit yummy, I'm also putting in um, some Kingsingtons because they're like our best. And they've got the chocolate centres. Uh, I've also saved some, probably oh, five I think, and I've cut them up in half and I'm going to use them to decorate the top of it a bit later. Okay, so the reason I've got them bagged is... I am going to be cheating. I've got a magic bullet on the bench over here and I'm going to use that to really, um, you know, break up and make it quite fine, my base. But I'm going to start by just um, bagging them and bashing them up a little bit so it doesn't take as long in the bullet. Uh, and for that, I've bagged them. And then I've just got uh, an old pillowcase just, for, just to keep it a bit cleaner in here so in case they break, they don't go anywhere. Um, where is it? Rolling pin, it doesn't really matter what yours looks like. This is from my cake making, so rolling pin, and I'm just going to break it up a bit because it's a bit easier to go through the magic bullet. Have a look. I feel like the bag's broken. No, it hasn't, so they're all pretty well broken up. I could probably even just do that a couple more times, and that would be ample, but. I like my magic bullets, so I'm going to have a turn with that as well. And then I'm going to just do the same to these Kingsington biscuits. I'm going to also put them through the base, just so it's got a bit of a different flavour. Alright, just want to give my bowl a quick wash. Safe and sorry. Okay, so these have been just sitting out for probably an hour now. Just to soften them up a bit, it makes just like white water cook it and it um, beats up a lot better and and then that way your um, your other ingredients are going to mix through a lot better as well. So just open it up, drop the whole block in, good o. Then the other one. Oh, I do love the smell of this stuff. Going over here. Okay, so I've got lemon here. So what I'm gonna do is just juice half of it. You can do this any way you want. I mean, I've got this, so I'm gonna just use this, but I'm sure there's plenty of different ways you could juice a lemon. So there we go. Don't really need it all, just you know. And then what I'm going to do is, I've got the pips here, so I'm just going to get rid of them. And then this is actually for the skin. Probably would have been better to do this before you've gone ahead and um, cut it up. But you get the idea. Don't need much anyway, it's just a little bit of flavour, it adds a little bit of extra flavour, a bit more intense. So... There we go, that'll do enough. I'm just going to set it aside for a minute. Get our condensed milk. Do you want the whole tin in here? And turn it on. So 
once again. Keep going again. That's pretty much right through. I'm just going to let that sit for a bit because it'll soften a little bit more. Okay, so I've got our butter here and I'm going to take it and put it in the microwave. I'm going to melt it down. I've poured off out of our bag some of the um, biscuit mix. So I'm going to do is, you know, any, you can use anything for this. You can keep beating it down with, um, with a rolling pin or something like that. But as I said, I've got a magic bullet sitting over there, so I'm going to use that. Um, and there's plenty of other variations of the magic bullet. It doesn't really matter what you use. Alright, just picking up where we left off. So, yep, I finished my base. Probably the hardest part about making the base is finding the space in the fridge for a flat surface because if you've got the pop out base like I have, so when you put your hand on the base, it's going to push through, you can't obviously sit that on anything in the fridge. You need a really flat surface. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to whack it in the fridge and let it set. Okay. So I've got my base over here now. I'm really glad that I um, I started with this and then just let it sit for a bit because it softened up a lot more. I mean, obviously, if you get it out of the fridge earlier and um, you know remember to do that, it was sort of last minute I decided I was going to make a cheesecake for tomorrow night for dessert. So now it's really looking soft and it's just perfect, really. So this part over here I'd normally do over there and just mix it up with the mixer, but just to keep it here at the bench, it's a bit easy for you guys to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Pour in the lemon juice. Okay, that's heaps, and I didn't add all of it in, but there's a little seed in here, and that's just going to drive me nuts. There we go, got it. Okay, and then I've got. Don't get hung up on. Um, holy hell, it really didn't want to open. Don't get hung up on the details of how much you put in, because uh, quite frankly, I work off guesstimates for nearly everything when it comes to baking. So I'm going to put in, I don't know what that is, probably about a half a teaspoon there, and that's, that's heaps. Absolutely heaps because this is concentrated as well. You don't need to go over the top. And I'm just going to stir that through. And this is actually going to thin it out quite a bit, which doesn't stress me out so much because it's going to sit in the fridge overnight. If you wanted to eat this uh, on the same day, you would really need to make this first thing in the morning because you really need a fair amount of time for it to set. So if you can see that, it's quite thin, which is great. Like honestly, this is just the best recipe. I could mix just about anything into this right now. So I could grab, you know, a big tablespoon of Nutella, peanut butter, um, some honey, cinnamon, peanuts, chopped up, you know, muesli bars, even break up crunchy muesli bars. Or I've done Anzac biscuits from Safeway, bought Anzac biscuits and sort of broken them up into chunks and stirred that through. And when you're eating that and you cop a piece of Anzac biscuit, it's actually really great getting that chewy Anzac biscuit. Um, that's probably one of mine and Rob's favourites. But the boys is just, they love the standard cheesecake. So that's what we're making. Um, I have got, like I said, I kept um, some of these Kingsingtons. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crush a couple of them and sprinkle that on top and use the rest to decorate. So that's right to go. So I'm going to get my base back out, pull this in my base, and then let it decorate the top, and then let it set. Okay, so I've got my base here, which is pretty set. I'm just going to pour this in. Hopefully it'll fill it up really nicely. I'm not going to be too sad if there's anything left in the bowl. God forbid I should have to lick the rest of the bowl. Okay. Oh, that looks great. It's going to go like that. So good. It smells amazing. Okay. So just smooth it out. Share it around a bit. I create a bit of a well in the middle because sometimes it sinks into the middle a little bit. Because it is quite thin at this point. So... All right, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let me tell you, it all tastes the same. All right, I'm so licking that spoon later. <laughs> so I'm gonna break one up. Just sprinkle that over. It is so easy to dress a cheesecake. 
you could grate up a cherry ripe or I don't know any whatever your favorite um, chocolate bar is really mint slice oh cannot stand mint can't even stand brushing my teeth I do it and I, I do it and I'm gagging the whole time which the husband thinks is hilarious from the bedroom but I'm not a fan of mint and there you go honestly could not be easier I think it took about 10 or 15 minutes to make this that's it and there it is so I'm gonna whack that in the fridge I'm gonna let it set and then uh, yeah I'll uh, add a photo of the completed product as I chop it up tomorrow it's gonna be so good I already want to eat it but I'll settle for licking the bowl on the spoon night